All right, we are back with an update on Colorado Rockies outfitter Jeff Lebowski, the greatest player in MLB history. Uh, so just finished his second season. You can see here the Rockies won 102 games, but unfortunately we're in the division with the Dodgers who won 105 games. And then also in a division with the Padres who were the fifth best team in baseball with 95 wins. And so because, you know, American sports are obsessed with divisions and postseasons and the way they structure them. Uh, the second best team and the fifth best team in the majors played in the wild card game, one game playing. And unfortunately, the Rockies were not able to advance. Manny Machado hit three home runs in this game, and we lost 12 to three. Lebowski did go yard. Uh, as he did many, many times in this season, as he did break the single-season home run record, which we'll get to in a minute here. Let's just go ahead to the league leaders. So Jeff led the league with a 543 average. He had 84 home runs, also set a new record with 197 RBI. David Dahl with 168. What a monster. Charlie Blackman did miss, like, the entire season. Uh, so, I mean, what didn't he lead the league in? Hits, OPS, slugging percentage, at-bats, war, on-base percentage, led all those. 32.5 war from Lebowski. Uh, 200 and, oh, what happened there? 253 runs scored. Next best was Arenado at 148. Uh, doubles, he was not, Lebowski was not there because he was too busy hitting home runs and triples and walking. So he hit 22 triples. 631 total bases. He stole 210 stolen bases. Next best was Mondesi with 39. He was caught stealing 21 times. And let's see, what else was it? So base on balls, he was up there. Extra base hits. ISO, obviously, OPS plus, WOBA, etc. So, and just to look at how that compared to last season, you can see he did start... He started 157 games this year and appeared in 161. Uh, wore about five more, had a better average, uh, higher on-base slugging and OPS. Babbitt was better. Uh, you know, everything was better. 289 hits, 84 home runs is just absurd. He struck out in 3% of his at-bats, up from a 1.7 last year, so almost doubled the amount of strikeouts. Um, he walked in 26.5% in the OPS plus of... 334 and just to get an appreciation for where he now stands in Rockies history uh rate the rate stats he hasn't played enough games yet but obviously he has the two best seasons in batting average OPS and slugging but doesn't yet qualify for the franchise record in those same with OPS so war oh he did pass Todd Helton who in 9450 plate appearances put up 59.2 war Lebowski in 1432 is put up 59.9 after seasons of 32.5 and 27.4 so he's doing pretty well there obviously not up there in games yet uh let's see at bats he's obviously not gonna be up there yet runs he's got the two top seasons and but he's just behind so what's this about 461 so he's just outside of the top 10 there hits he needs another season or two to get into the top 10 uh total bases same next season i think we'll get up there again he's not a singles hitter right nah he's not on either leaderboard there and same with doubles not a lot of doubles from lebowski uh triples though he has the two top seasons and he's now just two behind blackman for the franchise record uh, and then he has now cracked the top 10 in career home runs with 150. And so he's at the 84 in the 66 home run seasons, has him 10th. And I don't know, if he hits another 70 next year, he'll be what, top six? So maybe if he has a monster season, he can reach Carlos Gonzalez. I mean, that would be a real monster season. But it seems like Bush catching Bichette, is, he's got that in the bag. Uh, RBI, he is not yet in the top 10, but I think he will be next season. He, of course, already is the franchise leader, like more than doubled up next in stolen bases. Climbing the caught stealing too, but his percentage isn't bad. Uh, walks, he is not yet in the, or is he? Oh, he's seventh. He's seventh all time in walks. So he's climbing that and he's going to get like another, what, 150, 200 next year. So he'll climb up probably to the top three. And that's, that's all for Lebowski for the the leaderboard 
And to go ahead and check out the league news, he did win the MVP. He got all 30 first place votes. He, of course, won the Silver Slugger. He won the Gold Glove. You know, he's got every... These are the three postseason awards from last year in the World Series Championship. His still, two Silver Slugger awards, two MVPs, uh, Rookie of the Year, Gold Gloves. All He, of course, made the All-Star game again. Uh, Fielding-wise, let's see how he did compared to last year. Uh, so not, not quite as good in the zone rating, even though he played like 80 more innings, plus 29.3 and plus 28.3. So... One run or one uh one fewer zone rating. What's the one? I don't know what the the uh you know the thing that you call a zone rating. It's not a run, but you know one one lower zone rating and efficiency a bit a tiny bit lower too, like one one hundredths of a point. So a little less efficient there, Jeff. Wow. And let's go ahead and look at the MLB league history and single and career records. You're going to see all the records that he's broken now. Of course, he broke these records last year, the batting, OPS, all that, and he broke them again this year. Runs, he set a new record. Uh, Hits, set a new record. Total bases, a new record. Home runs, beat Bonds is what, 73? And RBI, stolen bases, all new records. Not yet here on any career leaderboards, but you give it a few more seasons and he's going to be up there. I mean, you know, it, he's, he's the toughest one is probably going to be what? I mean, Pete Rose's is obviously really hard to do, but I think he's going to do it. I mean, I don't know if there's a single one here that he's not going to be able to break. Maybe doubles. Maybe he won't break career doubles. How many doubles has he had each season? 30 and 46. Okay. Yeah, he's too busy hitting 80, 84 home runs and walking 7,000 times. So not not bad from Lebowski. And somebody did point out um, last year, the last time I was doing this, you can see the postseason records, which I didn't recognize was right here. I think that was in the last video. And as you can see, he's uh, he's got a few records here, the on-base slugging OPS, Runs, hits, total bases. This is all from last year. Triples, RBIs, stolen bases. That's all from last year. And he's also got all these career records, too, because he's met the minimum needed. So that's what's going on in the career of Jeff Lebowski. If you look at the Rockies, though, things could get interesting here for Lebowski. He should be going into that uh, the general manager's office because I'm letting my assistant GM do everything. I'm just sitting back and watching his career unfold. And... So, first of all, the Rockies have a ton of money, $100 million for free agents. And now they do have Lebowski to pay coming up. You can see that he has one more year of an auto renewal, and then he's got arbitration where he's projected to get $11.2 million in his first year, and then 15.8 and 16.1. But, uh, man, there could be some, some issues here in Colorado. As you can see, Nolan Arenado is opting out, and Trevor Story, also a free agent, and they haven't come to terms with either, either of them. Arenado has put up 8.1 and 7.1 more in the two seasons. And he's looking for an absurd extension at 30 years old, and he wants $48 million per year. I mean, just completely bonkers. But with Lebowski, you got to be in win-now mode. you got to resign him. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to override my assistant GM. And then Story, a couple of years younger, and said uh, he was not great at the plate this year, only in 96 runs created plus, but 3.5 war, still a great fielder. He's 28. And let's see what kind of deal he is asking for. Oh, three years, $20 million? Yeah, I think I'd do that. For a shortstop who can put up 3.5 war in a year when his bat is a little below average. A little concerning his bat was below average in cores. But, um, you know, I, I think uh, I think I was um, that that is money well worth spending here because that's going to be a hard guy to replace if they don't re-sign him. And... I don't, I don't think there are any other major free agents coming up. I mean, you got J.D. Martinez, who they signed as like a minor league free agent. Some other guys. Ian Desmond, uh, good riddance, sir, and your negative .3 war. Get out of here. Um, yeah, there's really no one else. They did already sign Brendan Rodgers. They avoided arbitration with him and a few other guys like Jeff Hoffman. But... Um, this team is going to have some serious holes if Arenado and Story are not back. That's that's going to be that's going to be a serious problem, as you can see. We'll still have Dahl. We'll still have Brendan Rodgers.
but man, this team is not deep enough to um, to set, you know to overcome the loss of Arenado and Story. I, you know, I, I don't know if I don't know Lebowski's going to ask his way out because he wants to rack up his offensive stats here in Coors Field. But that's going to be that's going to be rough. It's going to hurt his RBI totals and it's going to hurt his ability to set postseason records. Although playing you know playing in a division with the Dodgers and the Padres is already making that difficult enough. So. So, anyways, that's uh, that's your record setter, Jeff Lebowski. He is taking care of business, and I'll be back with uh, I don't know. I'll probably do another update at the end of next season. Just keep you posted each season on how Jeff is doing. All right.